Next thing we're going to do is color in the background. And for the background, um, I want you to choose a cool color. So from here, I don't want to choose green because I already have a green table. So I think I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to put it on its side just like I did for the table. Oops, now I have to be careful. I just got blue on my apple. I need to be careful where I'm touching with my fingers because they've got pastel on them. And I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to get it on everything else. And I'm going to carefully fill in, fill in my background very carefully. Right along there. So I have my blue background and now I'm going to use my fingers to blend it again. This hand's getting kind of dirty. I'm going to wipe it off on my paper towel a little bit so that it's not going to get it all dirty. And I've got one clean finger left on this hand, so I'm going to use that finger and I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to be extra careful around the edges of the apple and the edge of the table so I'm not smearing that into the background. Being extra careful around the edges of the apple and the edges and the edges of the table, I want to be extra careful. And smear that in. I'm blending all those colors together, but I've only got one color, so I'm just smoothing it out and blending it together. Now I have a nice background for my apple. So the last thing I'm going to do, I have this nice background. I want to make it look like the light is shining down on my apple. And I want it to show that the light's shining. So I'm actually going to use white and I'm going to start right at the top edge of this one. You already drew this line in there to show the white. And I'm going to show the white from this side too. Oh, I have to be careful. There was some black on here. I'm going to wipe it onto my paper towel to get that black off. I'm going to draw white from this corner. And then I'm going to use the white to lighten the inside of this. So I've got white shining down like it's light shining on the apple. So it's light shining down on the apple. And then after I finish with the white, I'm going to actually wipe it on my paper towel so that it's clean for the next person. And then I'm going to use one of my clean fingers and blend that white in. So you can see that light shining down on the apple. See the lights coming down and it's hitting the apple and making that shadow. And then I chose such a light color in the background, it's kind of hard to see that light shining down. So I might actually take a little bit of the dark blue and add it in to my background, but not where the light shines. So I'm going to add a little there, and I'm going to add a little bit here. And then I can smooth this out. And smooth out this side. And then you can see that light shining down on that apple. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, I think that over here needs to be a little lighter because that's a lot of light shining down on there. So I'm going to take my white out and put it on my apple to make some white shining on the side of my apple where the light shines. That light shines all over here. So I'm going to put some white on just like I did before. And then I'm going to use the finger I've been using for the white and gently blend it in. Careful, I'm keeping that highlight on there. 
Now I have a beautiful apple with the light shining on one side and the shadow on the other side. Great job, third graders.